Okay, so I promised you that I would uh, go through the additional stuff I ordered online from JDS Labs to put into my ODAC, uh, which I'll be doing throughout this build log. Uh, and here are the two boxes that I've received, uh, and we'll go through each of the components now. So this is for the DAC, obviously, this is the USB connector here. It's nice that they included that. Just get in there. So you can see there you've got a bit of a micro USB connector to just your regular USB 2.0. Put that to the side. These things here. Uh, so this is the uh, 6 mil uh, jack that I was talking about. So I decided to get this one here uh, because the set of headphones that I'm currently using uh, can um, are 6 mil native. So uh, obviously I wanted that to be compatible so I purchased that additional jack there. The one that comes um, with the ODAC uh, is a 3 mil. And uh, if you're going to put the um, DAC together with the amplifier, make sure that you order these here. So these are just nylon screws um, and uh, what they'll do is they'll suspend uh, the DAC board above the amplifier uh, and prevent it from making any uh, shorts um, and shorting out your circuitry. Uh, there's just some little rubber feet to put on the bottom of it. I'm not sure what this is here. Ah, this may be the uh, faceplate for it because I have the DAC uh, and the amplifier together. Uh, you need a different, uh, well, that's the rear plate. I'll go through that later, but you also need a uh, different faceplate. So be sure to order that if you're going to put the amplifier and the digital to audio converter, a uh, digital to analog converter together. So there it is there. Uh, and then you're going to have your input. Uh, that's going to be your gain. Then you've got obviously your headphone jack and your on and off switch. There we are. And then this is a rear plate here. So, get some of this stuff out of the way. So the rear plate there is obviously going to have the USB port, the USB, and then I've got a uh, rear AC as well, and then you've got your power on the right hand side. So I've included that AC there just in case I want to uh, create a pass through for something. And here we have the actual digital to analog converter board itself. Let me just change the lighting here so you can see that better. Give you a second just to check that out. And there's your USB port right there. And this is where I'm going to solder in my power, I guess. All right, so we'll just get started on the second box now. We've had a look at this one here, which is the first box. So in this second one, I'm not sure what's in it. Let's have a look. Ah, so you get the uh, option to engrave your own a custom picture. Uh, so you upload a photo on their website, um, on JDS Labs website, and uh, they will engrave that there on your box for you. So I've got two little ferrets, so I decided to put one of them on the box here. Uh, so that's where you'll 
end up slotting your board so you'll have these little grooves on the side here uh, that'll take uh, the board they uh, got the right tolerances there for both the DAC and the amplifier board uh, and then you just screw your faceplate you know just straight onto there um, you can see your screws through here now one of these will be ground out I think a little bit just for a ground so can't really see it there but maybe that's something I, I have to do myself just focus that back up there yeah so one of these uh, you'll need to use as a ground so put that one away and of course I've just included some screws here as well oh. and here they've also included the standard face plate oh no that's just a blank plate that you get there. Uh, the amp itself, uh, they, oh, okay, they've got two here. <laughs> so there you go. You've got two plates, blank plates. I guess um, they just, during the machining process, they make two, so they give two to you. But when you buy the default one, uh, the, just the amp, uh, you will have everything passing through one end. Uh, so all your buttons, all your cables will be routed through the front uh, whereas in this box that I did first uh, I got the additional uh, front and back plate so that I could uh, route the power through the back and also the USB through the back uh, just to make it a, a bit cleaner sitting on my desk here you can probably tell I've got speakers up here under my screen so there's not a lot of space so that does cost a little bit extra but uh, I think uh, for me it's uh, something I'm willing to, to pay for, uh, just to make it a, look a little bit better and a bit cleaner. Uh, so the next, uh, the next clip I'll do uh, will be me putting together all of this. Uh, I'll probably start with the amp first, and uh, that might you know, be half a dozen videos or so, um, depending on how long I take to do each. Um, but I wanted to really you know, give you guys the best idea possible of how to get through it step by step and hopefully if I run into any issues uh, I can uh, help you out there as well and uh, you know make sure that it includes a solution um, so yeah stay tuned <laughs> 